guys, welcome back to the Anonymous Fit Toy Collectors. Dreadnought Ryan here, and today I am going to do a review on some recent gridiron pickups. And that's right, you see it. It's the pickup that I've been waiting for the most. It is the ghillie suit. Um, this particular item just went up for sale, I believe, maybe just about a week or so ago on Gridiron Studios' website. Um, Mark and team have created a really nice ghillie suit. Uh, it has a couple different materials for it. Uh, some nylon cord here for the top, as well as down here at the bottom where you can see. Um, and then some, it almost feels like hair material, so like from a wig. Um, so it just is another nice addition to kind of make the ghillie suit hang really perfect on these figures. Um, I know that uh, Action Force will be coming out with their own version of their ghillie suit. Um, and Mark did also say that they're going to have more ghillie suits for uh, gridiron as well too so uh, i would be surprised if we don't see different colors um, probably for cobra um, a couple more for joe uh, but let's go ahead and get started into review of the ghillie suit and the items will come with it so just one second all right so let's first look at the rifle that the ghillie suit does come so this is a version of the m14 uh, that gridiron just released as well too this is in a camouflage pattern and i'll get a a little bit closer to the screen so you can see uh, just some nice paintwork that was done to this particular rifle. Uh, the magazine does come out. Just slides right out. And again with Gridiron, uh, this is a resin 3D printed item. So uh, just it does have some give to it. But I think with any resin printed or 3D printed item, you want to be careful with it. There are uh, They're not as... Uh, resistant to breakage is let's say some of the guns that do come with your joe figures because they are made out of softer plastic um, but the nice thing about 3d printing is you can get so much detail on the particular rifle uh, that they can't with injection molding items just because of uh, the high re resolution that you have for the 3d printing uh, for the ghillie suit um, they are also using their backpack um that they've used on a multiple different uh, loadout kits. Uh, what's nice about having this backpack is it does help the ghillie suit hang a little bit better on the figure. One drawback though is uh, putting your, your figure in a prone position. You can't get them to arch their back up um, because this does stop it. But, um, you know, it, 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 it's one, you know, it's one thing that's a drawback, um, but it does make it look nice when it is on the figure. Uh, hopefully Mark and team figure out a way of uh, making it so that you can get a little bit more flexibility out of it. Uh, you can also put a walkie-talkie here on the side, uh, which is a nice addition as well. Um, it is cut with sleeves. Um, you do want to remove, pop the hands off your figures uh, to when you put them in here. Um, it does make it a little bit easier to slide those in. For larger figures, I don't think the ghillie suit will fit. I've been using um, Duke, Flint, and Falcon bodies, um, as well as Rakondo, because they're the same. Um, I haven't tried an Outback. I may have to do that to see how it fit on him. Um, but it's just, it's really a nice item to pick up. Um, if you want to wait to see... What others hit the market, go ahead. But if you were wondering if it was worth the cost for it, I say absolutely yes. Uh, another item I did pick up is, this is cool, this is going to go in my Dreadnought Swamp Diorama. It is a little fire pit with a flickering light. It's a tea light that actually just pops right in the bottom. Pretty smart, um, but nice addition. And then finally, I did also pick up the Javelin Missile Pack. Uh, which will be nice when the hiss tanks do start hitting uh, to give the Joes something to fight back with. Um, the caps do pop off the front and the back of the Javelin missile. It does plug plug right onto the launcher. As you can see, you'll pop the, the top off here and you can actually see the Javelin missile. Um, it does have the launch device, which the figures hold pretty well. Um, this is a custom figure uh, that I made I called Downtown. Um, and what's cool about it is it does have the viewfinder. Um, and if I'm right, I think the Javelin is a fly-by-wire uh, type of item. So you'll actually look through that site. 
keep it locked on so that the missile will hit the target. Uh, the figures do hold it well. They can look through the viewfinder, um, and it looks pretty badass, you know, looking at it. Um, I do wish this missile would have popped out um, at some, uh, you know, some smoke trail or something just for a nice action shot. But overall, pretty cool pickup. It will be great for, you know, taking pictures with the Hiss Tank when uh, the Joes are, are fighting that off. Um, and then finally, the other pickup I had was, speaking of the M14 that came out, um, my father-in-law, who was an Army Ranger during Vietnam, use this particular weapon so when i saw it on gridiron's website i did have to pick it up um just such a cool item uh it is going to go with my recondo i will put them with the tiger force recondo for now but when the uh mainline release comes out this will definitely be the gun that i use for him so overall what can i say uh pretty great haul from gridiron um i know when you talk about 3D printed items compared to injection molded items, the cost, um, you know, it, there's a big cost difference. And with gridiron, you're paying for what you, you get. But I also understand folks having to uh, watch what they spend on and, um, you know, wait and see what else comes out. Uh, but I think overall, I'm very impressed with the ghillie suit. I've been uh, messing around with it now for two days. I'm an absolute love. Um, can't wait to get out and take some more pictures, uh, do some more fun Dio stuff. Um, I can't wait to see what Mark and company come out with. And, you know, I, I want to see what uh, Action Force comes out with too. Um, and then we can go from there. But I hope you guys are all having a great day, no matter where you're at on the Island of Misfit Toy Collectors. Have a great morning, night, evening, wherever you're at. And more importantly, yo, Joe.